Hello everyone, welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to discuss quick solution of All India Cast Test Series J Mains 2020. I have test 7 with me. Let us start with the first question of chemistry section. So this is the question we have which says the specific heat of iodine vapors and solid are 0.031 and 0.055 calorie per gram respectively. If heat of sublimation of iodine is 24 calorie per gram at 200 degree Celsius, what will be the value of heat of sublimation? At 250 degree Celsius in calorie per gram. So students, इसको solve करने के लिए हमें Kirchhoff's equation की जरूरत है. Kirchhoff's equation gives us the relation with enthalpy change, temperature and heat capacity. So यहाँ पर iodine solid is converting to iodine vapors. So according to Kirchhoff's equation, delta C P will be equal to delta H two. That is Enthalpy change at temperature 2 minus delta H1 divided by T2 minus T1. Because here all the equations, all the enthalpy and energy changes are in calorie per gram. Therefore, we can directly use these values. So, delta Cp is Cp of iodine vapors. It is 0.031. And Cp of iodine solid product minus reactant. It is 0.055. This is equal to delta H2, it is not known, minus delta H1 which is 24, divided by 250 minus 200. Because it is difference, we can use in degree Celsius also. So, delta H2 will be equal to 24 minus 0 0.024 into 50. We can solve this to get the result and it is 22.8 calorie per gram. If I go through the options, correct answer is given on option 3. Hence, the correct answer is option 3. Now, let's move to the next question. This is the next question we have. It says, select the option in which presence of element in an organic compound is correctly matched during the qualitative analysis of the organic compound with its indicating color. First option is nitrogen, black with lead acetate. Second option is nitrogen and sulfur, Prussian blue with FeCl3. Third is iodine, blood red with FeCl3. Fourth is sulfur, violet with sodium nitroproside. So students, we know that if in compound mein sulfur is present, hai, it gives us violet color with sodium nitroproside. So the correct answer is option 4. Now let's move to the next question. This is the next question we have. It says select the correct statement about halogenation of alkane in the presence of light. First option is halogenation of alkane can be initiated by homolysis of CLCl, carbon-carbon or CH bond. Second statement is CH4 plus Cl free radical give in presence of sunlight gives us CH3Cl plus H free radical is an example of chain propagation step. Third is during chlorination of methane, ethane is also formed as a byproduct. Fourth is fluorination of alkane is very slow and a reversible reaction. So students, we have to correct statement. We need to find the correct statement. So out of the given option, the only correct statement is option 3. If I talk about the chlorination of methane, methyl free radical will be formed. So two methyl free radicals combine to give us ethane. So hence, the correct answer for this question is option 3. Now let's move to the next question. This is the next question we have. It says for which of the following metal maximum prescribed concentration in drinking water is the least. We have cadmium, iron, manganese and zinc. If I talk about cadmium, the maximum prescribed concentration is 0 0.005 ppm. For manganese, it is equals to 0 0.05 ppm. For iron, it is 0 0.2 ppm. And for zinc, it is 5 ppm. So least value is for cadmium. And the correct answer for this question is option 1. Now let's move to the next question. This is the next question we have which says select the incorrect statement. Hame incorrect statement batana hai. First is thermodynamically most stable allotrope of carbon is graphite. Second is C60 molecule possesses aromatic character. Third is in diamond each carbon atom undergoes sp3 hybridization while in graphite and C60 they undergo sp2 hybridization. Fourth is among graphite, diamond and C60. Standard enthalpy of formation is maximum for diamond. Students, in may say me incorrect statement. Dekhna. So if I talk about graphite, diamond and C60, 
standard enthalpy of formation is maximum for C60. Hence, the correct answer for this question will be option 4. Now, let's move to the next question. 